What's going on everyone? Juicebags here and welcome back to the channel. The Dungeon Defenders Awakened Split Screen and Tavern Stash update is now live on PC. Now this will be coming to consoles uh, very soon and it also includes the cross saves. So once it hits consoles, we're going to be able to do the cross saves from PC to Xbox or to PlayStation or wherever you'd like to go. Uh, however, let's jump on in and check out the patch notes. If you want to read through them, uh, there will be a link down in the description below to all of the patch notes listed here. Uh, let's see. First off, the additions. A split screen. Let me see. Previous posts, we provided the courtesy of bolding new additions. Okay, so there is a few new things that weren't on the PTR. Okay, now the split screen is here. So you plug in your controller to your PC. Uh, you can have one player use mouse and keyboard, another use controller, or, you know, of course, if you're a controller player, you can plug in multiple controllers and use that. Uh, you're going to set the controller up in the gameplay tab. Uh, you see here the example is use first gamepad for player two. So like for me personally, I, you know, if I want to play split screen, I'm just going to use plug in my Xbox controller, uh, fire it up, and then... I'm going to be able to have that functionality right here off of my PC. Now in the top right of the pause menu to add another player as usual. So if you go ahead and hit escape on PC or go to your pause menu up in the top right, you're going to have the ability to add a player. Well, you've always had the ability to add a player. You would do this just like uh, you would previously in the past for inviting another one of your friends. However, there is going to be options to invite a split screen player or to invite an online friend player. So I, you would then choose split screen and ba boom, you've got your split screen functionality right there. So split screen has arrived. This is one of the things that have been promised since the very beginning on the Kickstarter. It is live on PC. So as soon as we get it out on consoles, of course, I will post up all the information. But that is not all that's in the update. We've got the Tavern Stash. Now, the Tavern Stash is kind of a big deal, y'all. Um, not only just for the quality of life of having the increased inventory, but it's going to drastically improve your load times when you're loading into a multiplayer or an online multiplayer match. Uh, the new Tavern Stash reduces your actual inventory that you carry with you, but you've got an expanded inventory in the form of the tavern stash. Uh, this will, as it mentions here, it's just going to greatly improve the load times. Uh, you will soon be able to connect your different platforms through the cross save hub. Now, as this update goes to consoles, of course, the cross save, this is pretty big for anyone who has the game on multiple platforms. Like myself, I own Dungeon Defenders Awaken on Steam on PlayStation X and Xbox, uh, so I will be able to link all of these to the same account. Now, this is upcoming uh, with the update not on consoles yet. Um, you know, obviously, this aspect of the functionality is not there until the consoles get up to speed. Now, there has been some quality of life adjustments. Uh, rune tooltips now include which hero can effectively use the rune. Hosts of multiplayer games will notice a new hint for force readying other players. Uh, the current shortcut is Control G on PC. Client party icons now default to the player's current hero on platforms other than PC or if playing offline. When one or more accessories are not equipped on the current hero, a warning for the associated slot will be displayed on the transmog UI. Uh, when training, players can type in uh, one min, one M, one B, one T for million, billion, trillion. Uh, so no longer spamming out a whole bunch of zeros and counting them up. Uh, and then this is huge too. This is another feature that was never promised, but was always requested. And that is the ability to toggle between public and private matches. So if you're playing the game and you like to build the map, but you like to play public matches, you can now go into a map, completely build it out, and then switch the map to public, and that is going to, you know, allow other players to see your game and join it up. Now, there was some fixes here, um, several bug fixes, whole list of them here. Uh, not going to go through all of those, but as I mentioned, I will include a uh, link down in the description below 
so that you can head on over and check it out. But that will do it for now. Thanks an absolute ton for watching, and I will see you next time around. Take it easy.